the northern plains the great plains of india that lie between the himalayas in the north and the peninsular plateau towards its south are formed by the deposition of the rich alluvium brought down by some major north indian rivers and their tributaries these rivers have their origin in the himalayas and the plateau region the plains have an extent of about 2400 kilometers stretching from river satluj in the west to river brahmaputra in the east if we include the area marked as the indus plains the west east extent is about 3200 kilometers the three main rivers that have played a vital role in the formation of the plains are river indus and its tributaries namely jhelum chenab bias ravi and satluj flow in a westward direction and finally join the arabian sea river ganga and its tributaries via yamuna gomti ghagra gandak kosi son betwa chambal and ken river ganga flows south eastward and eastward and joins the bay of bengal the brahmaputra which originates in the himalayas flows eastwards and then turns westwards and southwards to join the bay of bengal owing to the role played by these three rivers and their tributaries this region is also known as the indo gangetic brahmaputra plains depending on the significant differences of the surface relief these plains are divided into four divisions the bhabar as the rivers descend down the slopes of the northern mountain belt and enter the plain area they deposit coarse sand and pebbles brought down from the mountains these deposits of sand and gravel which stretch as almost continuous belt along the foothills of the shivaliks from river indus in the west to tista in the east are known as bhabar this belt is so porous that almost all the smaller streams sink underground in this area the terai it is the zone of the reappearance of the streams that had disappeared underground in the bhabar area due to the emergence of these streams the terai region is ill drained it is characterized by the presence of swamps and marshes thus it is suitable for the existence of dense forest and a variety of wildlife the bhangar it is the older alluvial deposit which is the upland area found above the level of the flood plain it consists of the calcareous formation known as kankar the khadar it is the newer alluvium found in flood plains along the river near the banks not only in the surface relief there are also a remarkable and distinct variation in the characteristics of these plains as we travel from the west to east from sindh to assam the rajasthan plain thar desert it is the westernmost division of the northern plains lying to the west of the punjab haryana plains this plain is also known as rajasthan plain or the marusthali or thar or the great indian desert this region is mainly an arid plain drained by several seasonal rivers including river luni this part of the northern plains is mainly covered with sand dunes and number of salt lakes like sambhar kuchanan degana didwana pachpadra and lunkaransar this plain is dominated by the work of wind and not rivers unlike the other parts of the northern plains the punjab haryana plain it is formed by rivers satluj bias and ravi and is bordered by river yamuna towards its east the plains are made up by fertile doabs between ravi and bias rivers the bist doab between bias and satluj the malwa plain also forms a part of the subdivision the punjab haryana plains are irrigated mainly through a network of canals There are many low-lying flood plains in this region which are called beds. The Ganga plain it stretches over the states of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal. It is the largest subdivision of the northern plains. Named after River Ganga, the largest river of the area, 
the Ganga plain slopes towards east and southeastwards. Rivers Yamuna, Gomti, Ghagra, Gandak and Kosi descend from the Himalayas and are the left bank tributaries of Ganga. The right bank tributaries which descend from the peninsular plateau area are Chambal, Betwa, Son, etc. The North Bengal Plain The North Bengal Plain lies in the state of West Bengal. It stretches from the foot of the eastern Himalayas to the northern limb of the Bengal Basin. The plains are washed by several rivers which include the streams that join the river Brahmaputra and some tributaries of the river Ganga. Moving southwards is the Barint Plain which is the old delta of the Ganga. Brahmaputra Plain This plain is formed by the depositional material brought down by the rivers. Brahmaputra and its tributaries in India, it is mostly located in Assam. Fact The eternal city of Varanasi, the beautiful Sundarbans, the splendid Taj Mahal and the charming and exotic Khajurahu temples fall in the Indo-Gangetic Plain. Significance of the Northern Plains The Northern Plains are made up of fertile alluvial soil brought down by the rivers. Hence, they are suitable for the development of agricultural activities. The flat terrain of plains supports the growth of industries, a well-developed network of road and railways. These northern plains are densely populated. They have proved favourable for the growth of civilizations.